I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow ya. Police say a woman pulled a gun on an Uber driver. Tony Magoo reports. I drive for Uber, and I just had somebody hold me hostage in my car for like two and a half hours. The incident began the afternoon of July 25th when the driver at Palm Coast Woman accepted a dispatch from Uber to pick up the woman named Betty Jo at 4601 East State Road in Brunel. She arrived and the woman started loading stuff from a nearby storage unit when she told the woman to stop. Then a gun was shown. Uh, What kind of gun was it? It's just a a handgun. It it was a handgun. Okay. Where did you drop him off at? At two air plates and pump coats. This wasn't a good day for Betty Jo. She said she was fighting with somebody named Krista. And she was fighting with her boyfriend. She said some guy named Michael or something. When deputies arrived, Halter made multiple inconsistent statements about the events that transpired and talked in a manner that did not make any sense. They arrested her. She's charged with false imprisonment and with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon without intent to kill. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Tony Magoo. This portion of WNZF Local News, a service of the Daytona Beach International Airport. Fly to the Big Apple in a New York Minute on JetBlue from the Daytona Beach International Airport. You're running out of time to register in the primary election. John Arking has all the details. A busy election year awaits Florida voters starting with a primary election next month, followed by the general election in November. And officials are reminding residents to prepare ahead of time. Katie Lenhardt is the Flagler County Supervisor of Elections. The deadline for party changes and new registrations is July 30th, Monday, July 30th. And Florida is a closed primary state. Some races could be decided in this primary election, so make sure that you register and vote. Early voting starts on August 18th through the 25th at three locations in Flagler County, at the Supervisor of Elections Office, the Flagler County Public Library, and the Palm Coast Community Center. The hours for early voting are from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. each day, including weekends. Sample ballots have already been mailed out. To view a ballot, voters can log on to flaglerelections.com or stop by the Supervisor of Elections Office. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Arking. It's hot out there, and seniors can get some help keeping their homes cool in the event of an emergency where equipment breaks down or bills can't be paid. The Emergency Home Energy Assistance Program helps low-income households that have at least one family member over the age of 60. They could be eligible for a one-time benefit of up to $600 for the cooling season. The money can be used to make repairs to equipment or to pay utility companies. Flagler's annual Back to School Jam is happening tomorrow from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. in Flagler Palm Coast High School's gym. The district is expecting a large crowd. Folks from individual schools, district departments, service providers, and vendors will all be under one roof for students and families, making it a one-stop shop for all their needs. Students can learn about after-school programs and purchase $5 backpacks or spirit wear. The Police Athletic League will be doing helmet fitting for bike riders. Kinder Vision will host a program on Stranger Danger and counseling services will be on hand. Families can apply for free or reduced school lunch or just check out the menu. New this year, the Flagler Christmas Network will be present to promote their Adopt-A-Family program that helps families in need during the holiday season. And now you're up to date. On Flagler's Morning News, I'm Amy Cherry.